Hey guys, I'd had some requests on how to install the Broadcom BCM94360 CD. This is a combo Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth 4.0 chip. Um, I believe it's from the 2013 IMAX. And you can see there on the left we have the, the chip itself and then the wider piece is a little adapter that lets it sit in. It's like a PCI Mini or something like that lets it sit in on the motherboard uh, on the Mac Pro. So we're going to take a look at installing that today. So first thing though, we want to make a little bit of room in the case, so we're going to remove the uh, hard drive 2 and 3 and the GPU. The hard drives you just uh, pull straight straight up on them, or, or if you're, the Mac Pro is still standing up, you just pull straight sideways. Just get these cords up out of the way. There you go. You'll want a very small Phillips head screwdriver to release the two retainer screws. Yeah, just be careful, these guys are small. As you can see there, it almost uh, lifts itself up out on its own right away. So I just pull this direction a little bit and it just pops right out. There we go. So there's the original chip, uh, just Wi-Fi airport chip. The uh, little wires that are connected, they just snap right off. Or not snap, I guess just, just pull until they just pop off. Um, you know, they won't give you too much trouble, but they're on there pretty good. Each one of these wires is labeled, which is really nice from Apple, and so you'll want to make sure and keep just keep that in mind. And there was, will most likely be one that's not being used, and it's probably got a little plastic cap like this one has. And then over here, the uh, Bluetooth chip, just right there, also has one and a couple of retainer screws, and since we're replacing it, we don't need the old Bluetooth chip in there anymore. That one has is attached by a little plug underneath, and so you just lift straight up on the Bluetooth chip. And pop the little Bluetooth wire off. These are antennas uh, that pick up the signal. So this is the uh, mini PCI adapter card, so we're going to want to install that first and get that uh, screwed on. So just kind of position in place, and then slide it into the right, and that'll kind of get it up into place there. And then kind of just push it, it's kind of spring-loaded, so just push it down a bit, get the screws. There we go. It can be a little tricky to get the uh, screws at the right angle with the uh, fan shroud and the cords right there. So it may or may not be worth removing those uh, GPU power cords just to get them out of the way. Alright, so that is in the little adapter card. Alright, so here's the new chip. And it actually seats this direction, but the antenna connectors are on the other side. So we're going to have to attach the antenna connectors and then seat it into the card. And I've heard various uh, things, but in general, the two configurations that I've seen that seem to work for people is Bluetooth on, you'll see underneath here, J, so there's J0, J1, J3, and J2. Um, I believe what I've seen is either Bluetooth on J3 or J2. So just kind of, if something doesn't work, pop it back out and try a different one and see, make sure you get good Bluetooth connectivity. 
I'm just going to interject real quick into uh, this part of it. I got it all together and uh, the Bluetooth side of things just really wasn't working very well. Um, even with the mouse close to the computer, it was, it was jumpy like it used to be uh, before the upgrade. And so I took it back off and I looked online and this seems to be a common problem. Um, apparently they re they swapped the antennas or something originally. Some of the Mac Pros had uh, the antennas flip-flopped on them. And so what I had to do is go change uh, number two was where BT is and two was uh, and BT was where two is and I just flip-flopped the two. And now, once we're back up and running, um, everything's running good. I have good signal to my Magic Mouse. Um, before, when I booted up, I couldn't be more than a couple feet away or it would completely drop out. Uh, now I can be across the room and it does a perfectly good uh, response. So, for me, the correct order is uh, J-O. So, 1 goes to J-O, Bluetooth goes to J-1. Uh, 2 goes to J3, and 3 goes to J2. So I'm having uh, good results with that. For you, it might be different. The default uh, B, uh, Bluetooth is supposed to be on J3 by default, but some of them are, are swapped. So if it doesn't work, just flip it around. So there's that little uh, plastic sleeve that the unused one had on. And that last unused one for me was number two, and it was pretty short. So I'm going to have to kind of push it back here to get this connecting. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but we got it. Um, number two was short, and it was flipped upside down, so I was kind of fighting against tension. And I didn't want to damage the loaf of chips, so... But we got it on. There we go. So now, just kind of take that guy, line it up with the adapter, and slide it right into there. Alright. So we got that chip in. Uh, let's put it back together and see what happens. Alright guys, we're uh, back in the computer now. It's booted up just fine. Uh, everything seems to be good to go. Um, popping in here just so you know, this is a 1-1 one, one flash to 2-1 uh, generation. It has two 3 gig quad core Xeons, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, GeForce GTX 970 on El Capitan. So everything's good there. And then uh, jumping into the system information, uh, going to Wi Fi, we do show that our Broadcom chip is showing up just fine. And over here you can kind of see I just grabbed it off of eBay. Um, most of them you'll find are from China. This one I have to find a uh, just a used one. And yeah, that's the BCM94360 CD. And uh, that will work in the 1121 and I think 31 uh, Mac Pros. So everything's showing up here. And then down, uh, sorry, back up to Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is also showing up Broadcom, so everything's good there as far as I can see. And then taking a look at speed tests, we got a 42.09 download and a 40.98 upload. So not full speed for my network here, but uh, definitely more than adequate as far as Wi-Fi goes. Just so you can see, so this is the new chip. The old chip, we had 18.81 and 30.52, uh, so big, big, big jump uh, on both of those, which is really cool. 
And then just for reference, what I'm getting the Ethernet, uh, 180.45 and 197.64. So definitely still just uh, the best option to go with Ethernet, but it's a really nice thing to have a reliable Wi-Fi uh, when you need it. Airdrop, that kind of stuff. Um, I was having a tough time with it. It seems to be kind of a hit and miss thing from what I've seen online. Uh, one tip was sign out of iCloud, sign back into iCloud. Um, I did that, it didn't seem to help. Uh, so, somebody else mentioned this tool on GitHub, Continuity Activation Tool. Downloaded it right here. I'll put the link in the uh, description of the video. And then, uh, right here, unzipped it, run this little guy. And then you just type 1, activate continuity, hit enter. It'll run just a little script, and then it'll ask you to hit any key to restart. You do that. Um, my Mac wasn't... It got stuck on some kind of cycle during the shutdown, so for whatever reason, eventually I just uh, manually shut it down and then restarted back up. It didn't seem to be working right away, but then I... Um, I just kind of kept playing with it with my phone and my wife's phone. My wife's phone actually showed up first, and then I was able to send something to her. And once I did that, then it kind of showed up on my phone here. So on my phone, I'm seeing my my uh, computer here. So I can now I can there we go. Hers just showed up. But mine, for whatever reason, didn't. So, but if but it is showing up on my phone, the Mac is. So it's a little finicky, but it does work-ish. <laughs> so there you go. I I sent something my phone, and then it popped up on here, and I can accept. As soon as it's done, okay, I'm still there this time. Last time I just kind of disappeared. So oh, there we go. For whatever reason it does that, but I can at least get stuff from my phone to the computer, which is really the main uh, thing that I wanted. Alright, so I think that's it. And I think that actually concludes my, my upgrade build of the 1.1 Mac Pro. Up to a 2.1, um, upgraded everything that I could. It's a good little media server, family computer, gaming computer, you know, just kind of a secondary machine for, for us. but. It should be a good uh, good little setup, especially now we have this. Um, the Bluetooth is working really well with the mouse. Uh, the Wi-Fi is much, much better than it was. And uh, the handoff continuity airdrop type of stuff, it's, it's kind of iffy. But at the same time, airdrop in general, um, unless you have two brand new machines, is always kind of iffy <laughs> in my experience. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it just doesn't show up. So I guess it's kind of on par, but it's a, it's a little funky, but it does work. So good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, good luck on everything. Let me know if you have any questions.